We are out here today in the Puget Sound to demonstrate some safe handling techniques for Puget Sound salmon. With the busy summer salmon season getting ready to start up, we figured this would be a great time to remind everybody safe handling techniques for salmon. Most importantly, we want to keep the fish wet, we want to get them back in the water quickly, and those are things that are going to promote survival of fish that are released back into the water. One of the things that we recommend is that people use a rubberized or a knotless net. This does a couple different things. It helps to keep the fish in the water so that it stays wet. It helps to reduce stress on the fish as it's being dehooked, and it helps to make sure that there is less slime loss and scale loss so that that fish has better survival when it gets back in the water. So one of the other things that we recommend using is a dehooker that looks like this, and this helps to get the fish off the hook more quickly and get it back in the water more quickly to ensure survival. These ones are also measured at exactly 22 inches long, which is the legal size for a Chinook in Puget Sound. So it's a good handy device to not only make sure that you're catching a legal size fish, but that you're getting other fish back in the water more quickly. The last thing that I wanted to mention is that if you do need to handle a fish, we recommend that you either have wet hands to do so or use gloves. And again, this will help reduce the slime and scale loss on these fish. So when they are put back in the water, that they have a better chance of surviving. Thanks again for listening and for practicing safe fish handling, and we'll see you out on the water.